What's up, everyone? I'm back at the Delaware River in a different spot, though. This one's a really cool spot. It's got some very fast currents. Used to be really good fishing. I ain't get much today. I only got nada. <laughs> it's figures. And let me show you around. Flip this camera. This is the wood area, and this is my little secret path. Let's see if I can do this without looking. I forgot my GoPro stick. What a Nimrod, huh? That's all right. That's what my videos are about. Making do with what you have. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be a really good video. But it needs a couple of cool things. And that's my plan to show you a couple of cool things. Look at the moss on this hill. See these bushes here? These are mountain laurels. All these bushes up here. These are the biggest mountain laurels I've ever seen. Look at the size of this one. That's, that's a mountain laurel. That's a bush, not a tree. <laughs> it goes all the way up. And they're beautiful. I wish they were in full bloom right now. You'd really have a sight. They get these white bell flowers all over them. This area is cool right through here. I like this. I wish this was alongside my pond. <laughs> Something's living here. You see there's little burrow holes and little trails. It's probably mice or something. Look at how green this is. This is gorgeous. There's more mountain wall over here. Check this one out. This one's huge. This is definitely a tree. Let's get to the river. I don't want to make a 20 minute video. Look at this mountain wall. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> Look at that view. Isn't that gorgeous? We caught shad here one year. Actually, Zach caught the shad right to the left out there when we were in the kayaks. The river splits in two different directions here. There's an island right over there. You can't see it with the trees, but you'll see it when I get down there. Ooh, don't fall. <laughs> Yeah, there's two things. You can't climb a little, don't come back here. You can't swim good. And definitely do not go in this water. It's moving very fast. I was in it, it pulled me down right away. And I can swim. That's right, I didn't get far from shore. <laughs> there's all my stuff out on the rock. Isn't that gorgeous? I hope the sun isn't messing this up, but we're going for it. I'm heading down here and hopefully I don't walk through this poison ivy all over here. This is for you, Hugo. That's poison ivy right there. Don't touch it. And there, and there. Oh, man, I'm going to have poison ivy from this trip. <laughs> Sorry, because I'm going to go back in the water and rinse it all off. Look at that. We've kayaked down this. This is the section we hit when we leave from Fort Jarvis and go all the way to Pebble Beach. I think it's what, seven or nine miles? It might be nine miles, that trip. It usually takes us all day. It's worth it, though. I always go to the left of this big giant island here because the fishing over this way is awesome. Zach and I did really good through here a couple times. One year we come through, we could see dozens and dozens of shad darting through the water. It's really cool. It's hard to walk on these rocks and keep the camera still. And hopefully I don't slip in this wet rocks. I definitely do not want to drop the phone into the water. Look at that ledge under there. Think there's a fish under there? It might be. 
And yeah, look at those. You do not want to walk through that spot right there. That will pull you big time. That when I went through that on my kayak, man, that was fun though. This is the swimming hole. You can swim in here. Half of it's pretty mellow, but if you go in certain spots, it starts to pull you. You go a little too much to the right, it pulls you in, then pulls you out. It swirls in all different directions. But look at that island out there. I caught a bass off that island once with the kayak. On the left side, right over there. This is a nice area to kayak through. Climb down here, see if we can situate the phone. Go for a quick swim. Don't worry, you won't have too many nightmares of me swimming. How many times you jump in, it's ice cold every time. That's right, it's 90 degrees out. I warm up real fast outside. Woo! <laughs> Bit nipply. <laughs> I caught a really nice bass right here. I didn't get nothing this time, I, I used the rubber worm. When I caught the bass, I was using a uh, Rapala, silver Rapala. I might change and try it a little bit, let this mellow out. I'm thinking about hanging out tonight and seeing if I get some sun shot, sunset shots. The water froze my brain, I can't think right. <laughs> oh man, excuse me. <laughs> Woo. Man, that is gorgeous, man. When I was younger, I wouldn't have any problems swimming all the way out across there. Right now, man, I gotta get back and have a cigarette. I hope everybody enjoyed it here. This is a gorgeous looking river, man. The water's a little high right now because it rained the other day. It's probably why it's a little extra cold, too. But check out the waves from here. Isn't that cool? I hope you can see this. That's my view, swimming in the water. Yeah, that water's definitely rolling out there today. You can see it's high. Only a little bit though, not too much. I've seen it higher where there's rocks beside me here. They were completely underwater. All the way up to top of where my pants were, that was water up there when I came down here once. Hey, thanks for joining me. I hope everybody enjoyed it. See ya! Oh, try it again. See ya! <laughs>